This lab has historically worked on snake robots and more recently on modular robots and walking robots. We look at animals, we try to distill the essential principles, not necessarily copying what we see. You know, a snake robot is never gonna be exactly like a real snake. But what we can do is look at how the snake moves around in the world and try to copy some of the basic motion primitives onto our robot, and similarly for the walking robots. But we do then take those principles and apply them on our robot and refine them to get the snakes to go into confined spaces for maybe search and rescue or inspection applications, or to get the walking robot to walk over rough terrain Right. Snake robots have existed for a long time. Uh, you know, maybe the 1970s was the first snake robot, but they really didn't start to become practical until developments in motor technology and power management started to allow us to package the robot in a form factor that could actually be deployed in the real world. So our snake robots are modular in that they're a long chain of the same repeating actuator down the line. And so what that allows us to do is if one breaks, you can very quickly re replace it with a different one. And if you want to change the length of the snake, you can go from 16 modules to 20 to 30, depending on how long of a snake you need for your application. On one end, it has the camera. On the other end, we have a tether that, ca that carries power and communications. Once we had this compliant snake robot that's able to feel its way through confined spaces, we had in the process committed to a set of modular interfaces, both electrical and mechanical and communications, that allowed us to then not only extend the snake in different forwards or back directions, but actually add different topologies, give it legs, give it arms, give it claws, give it other kinds of modules, wheels. And so that led to the development of this six-legged robot that uses the same technology as the snake, essentially, to walk over rough terrain. What's special about these robots is the proprioceptive force sensing in the legs. They have this force and torque feedback in the legs that allows you to feel your way through rough terrain, walk over rubble without using a lot of sensing. We developed a way to rapidly de design gates, there's walking motions for the robot, so that when you change the arms and legs, you are able to quickly deploy it again within minutes. We also have developed a battery-powered version of this robot. The older modules were restricted in that they needed a tether for communication and power, but that was primarily a limitation for the snake robot. On these walking robots, there's more room on board to put batteries. So we're able to put a battery pack and have it walk for an hour or so up rough terrain. This is our battery-powered wireless snake monster, and it is a hexapod that you can change the modules on the ends. So you can give it different arms or legs or hands or cameras. Right now we have it configured with six legs and a neck camera so that it can reorient the camera to look at um, maybe broken pipes in a collapsed building. And being battery powered, and we can send it out into the world and go a couple hundred yards uh, with a controller driving from a joystick. There are a few that are now under development. Uh, other companies have kind of commercialized the technology. So there are some that are starting to be used for real world applications commercially. 